A 10 year old local boy has already survived a brain tumor. Now he's facing another medical battle, but he's not fighting alone. A number of people are being tested to see if they're a match to donate bone marrow to 10 year old Brandon Rayner. Action News reporter Ron Futrell has details in a story that's positively Las Vegas. He's my little super trooper. Mo Rayner, himself a trooper during Desert Storm, brought a lot of his fellow guardsmen together for a cause very near to his heart. Brandon, his son, was not able to attend today's event. His blood count is still too low after going through two brain surgeries and now suffering from leukemia. But make no doubt about it, this kid is a survivor. Nothing gets him down. He's been battling this kind of stuff since he's two years old. He's went through brain tumor twice, and now he has leukemia. And if you saw, if you see him today, the only thing you'd know is he has short hair. He's just a great kid. Brandon is collecting business cards to help his cause. Also, there was a chance to sign a card for Brandon. And the most important part of this event? You're brushing your just pick teeth. Pick a side. Pick a side. Okay. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds. Get lots uh -huh. of spit and saliva. Giving DNA samples to see if a match can be found for a blood marrow transplant. It's difficult to find a match for, for everybody. Still, the fight continues. More than 100 donors so far today. And as long as Brandon keeps fighting, these soldiers and others in the community will be right behind him. Ron Futura reporting Channel 13 Action News. For more on Cheryl Llewellyn's sentencing, we turn it over to Ron Futrell, who's live in the Action Newsroom with the latest Ron. Yeah, Trisha, we think of the wedding business here in town as being fun and games, positive and loving, but there are apparently a lot of backroom deals and tough love being handed out in this business, too. Cheryl Llewell and her attorney, Steve Stein, were hoping for probation, but Judge Lee Gates handed out one year behind bars, three years probation, and $16,000 in restitution. This is the penalty for basically handing out bogus wedding licenses. Also, there were charges of Lowell stealing photo equipment from an event at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Now, some background here. Lowell ran the Garden of Love Wedding Chapel. The business is very competitive here in town. There's a lot of money in this business in Las Vegas, too. Now, competitors said that Lowell camped out at the county courthouse and harassed people when they were getting their licenses to try to get them to come to the Garden of Love to have one of the ministers there perform the ceremony. Well, that wasn't illegal. Some of the licenses issued there apparently were illegal, and that's what Judge Gates went after today. Now, the story may not end here as it gets rather interesting. There are some questions about whether those marriages at the Garden of Love Wedding Chapel were valid. So far, the state says technically they are valid, but it's possible you could see a scenario where somebody who, let's, let's say they got married through one of those licenses in question here, they decide they no longer love the one they're with, then they challenge that in court. And we're talking about less than 200 marriages here, but you never know where this story might go. The wedding capital of the world showing some tough love today. Ron Futrell reporting, Channel 13 Action News.